Damian Priest claims he tried. But he's had enough of truth. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After Dudes. So, like, let's talk about Damian Priest and our truth, man. This was hilarious tonight, man. Um, it's been hilarious every week, but tonight it took a little bit of a different swerve tonight, a uh, different turn. Um, so, Judgment Day were coming in, and uh, JD McDonough was getting ready for his match against our truth. And this dude was still hanging out, was trying to act like he was hanging out with Judgment Day. And then for the first time in a while, we saw Damian Priest really put his foot down, right? Like, he let him hang out backstage last week. This week, he really put his foot down. He let him know, like, backstage, like, dude, you're out. You were never in this group. And he threatened him, like, tonight's going to be your execution. I was like, damn. I was like, damn, man. Like, Damian Priest ain't playing no games, bro. And, and I want to talk about Damian Priest real quick for a second because the evolution of the Damian Priest character in the last two years since he, since he started with uh, Judgment Day at WrestleMania 38 a couple of years back with Edge, this dude has come a long, long way, bro. Um, We know Rhea is kind of the, the leader of the group. But I'm going to tell you what, man. Like, Damian Priest been kind of being, he been kind of the leader to me, too. Like, he he been really, like, like you can tell that dude's a boss. Like, Damian Priest, he, he been on a wave, bro. Damian Priest literally been on a wave, bro. I feel it ever since Backlash, too. Like, this dude just been on the, been, in that storyline with Bad Bunny, like, he just, like, last year WrestleMania, like, he been on a wave, bro. Like, Damian Priest has been on a wave. And Damian Priest, to me, you know, he has that money in the bank. He still got a chance to cash it in. He should be a champion, uh, to be honest with you. I, 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 I was saying this for a while. I think Damian Priest would be a champion. B because before they ever break up that Judgment Day group, but I don't know when they'll do it. But whenever they get to that point where they want to break up Judgment Day, um, I think you have to make sure that one of the males becomes a champion. Obviously, that's Damian Priest. Finn Balor had a chance already. You're not going to give it to JD. You're not going to give it to Dom. They're not ready yet. But Damian is. I think Damian's ready. It depends on what they do with Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Because I was, in the last video, I was talking about Cody. You know, and I was saying maybe you had the Rock go against Seth Rollins at night one at WrestleMania and get the World Heavyweight Championship. Um... Now that's not po now if the Rock gets it, it's not possible for Damian to get it. So if you're still gonna have a face with the belt, so if it's Seth Rollins, you can have Damian probably cash in at WrestleMania night and become champion that way. Because I don't know if he's gonna, be, I don't think he's gonna be in this elimination chamber match because he already got a match with Finn Balor to face uh, who was it, Tyler Bate, um, and Bush, right? Wasn't that who it was? Yeah, I think I think that was, I think that was the team that they supposed to be facing, because they beat DIY DIY on Friday on SmackDown. Yeah, so uh, yeah, because it wasn't Ridge. I don't think it was Bush. Yeah, uh, and I know it was Tyler Bate was the other dude. So they're gonna have that match down in Australia for Illuminate Chamber. So that means Damian Priest is probably he's. I got a definite feeling he's cashing it in at WrestleMania. He's definitely about to cash that motherfucker in at WrestleMania, man. Uh, so we'll see how that goes with that. Now, back to our truth. He so uh, before the match starts with JD, you know, the whole Judgment Day is supporting JD on the on the ring side because Damian already told him, you know, it's gonna be your execution. So our truth is back there with Adam Pierce, and you know, he's on, he's on the phone trying to get the Miz. Like the Miz is he's in L.A. and he ain't gonna be to fly out to Kentucky, you know, from L.A. to Kentucky in like less than. I think it's like a three-hour flight or I think it's like a two-hour, maybe a two-hour-and-a-half flight or something like that from Kentucky to L.A. But he wasn't going to be able to make it, man. He was trying to get him on the phone. Adam Pierce was like, no, you got to go. You know, he kept paying passion. He like, you got to go, go, go. You know, R-Truth ended up winning the match anyways. And then after the match, they started whooping his ass. Damon Priest took a shot at R-Truth. Then DIY helped him out of nowhere. So DIY... Uh, Gargano and uh, Ciampa, they, they ended up helping out uh, our truth. So, um, no Miz this week, but I, I bet you Miz is going to be back next week. And it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. So, it looks like our truth might have finally realized he's not in Judgment Day. 
this might have been a week where R True finally figured it out. I'd be shocked if he hasn't, man. It'd be it'd be kind of interesting if he still hasn't figured it out. But I think he has because of how he was on the phone. Because in previous weeks, he would have never tried to make that phone call, like, needed protection. Because he would have always thought Judgment Day would have had his back. So, it's going to be very interesting to see how this goes. So, it looks like Miz, Truth, you know, they're going to have that faction back. So, we'll see how that goes, man. It's going to be a very interesting storyline. But give me your thoughts on this, man. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. After News Delight.